Steel Taipan will be opening at Dreamworld Australia in 2021 and today I'm going to bring you through what I think of the coaster and also how it is so different from all the other Bluefire Mega Coaster clones. So if we start off with the stats, this will have a height of 128 feet, reach up to speeds of 65.2 miles an hour and it will also have a track length of 3,937 feet. So if you haven't noticed already, this is actually a Blue Flyer Mega Coaster clone and there has actually been a lot of these since 2009. The first one being at Europa Park and there's been ones in Abu Dhabi, there's also been ones all around the world in China and places like that and I believe there is actually one in Tokyo as well. But yeah, so there is loads of these out there in the world but yeah obviously this is going to be australia's first mac multi-launch roller coaster but what is so special about this coaster that is not like any of the other mac multi-launch coasters is that it, that is the back car will actually be like time traveler seats so they'll actually be spinning basically so if you've ever ridden time traveler it, and you, like, you know one of them seats that spin uh yeah this will actually be like that basically but it'll just be right on the back and there'll only be two seats that actually spin well obviously one car that will spin but there'll only be two seats at the back so usually there's four seats per car and on the back where there'll obviously only be two i'm not sure if this will be an upcharge or anything because on dc rivals hyper coaster that's also in australia there is actually not i think there's an upcharge to go on the back of this car i'm not certainly sure but i think there's a two pound upcharge but i'm not definitely sure about that but there may be there may not be so i'll just warn you about that but if we now go for the elements there will actually be an lsm launch multi-pass there will also be a loop a block break there will also be a twisted horseshoe roll and there will also be the famous inline twist but also there is another element on this that RCDB doesn't actually say and that is actually there will be a vertical spike that is actually twisted so I'm not really sure what this is called I think it's called that but yeah this will actually be a twisted vertical spike if you know what that is and this looks incredible I can imagine if you're spinning this will be even better on this as well this looks insane and I would love to do this element one day I think this is, I think this is one of the only coasters that actually have this element and to feature it spinning as well people who live in Australia are so lucky to have this coaster and yeah so if we now go through the car and the supports the supports will be actually they'll actually be like sort of silver and the track will be orange and obviously the car will be orange and then the seats will be silver so they're actually quite nice color schemes to be honest but obviously there'll be five trains with five cars per train riders will arrange two across in two rows and that will mean a total of 20 riders per train and there will be two trains on this coaster but obviously i'm not sure because there's only one train that would actually have the backwards spinning car so i'm not sure i think the backwards car won't actually have four seats i think there'll only be two seats i don't think it will exactly be like time traveler i think there'll only be two seats on the back but i'm not definitely sure about that so because we haven't really heard much about this coaster i mean like, we knew it was going to come out we knew it was going to be called taipan but we don't actually know a lot more about this coaster but this will be a perfect fit for uh dream world i personally think this would be great because they do obviously have buzzsaw and so and if we now move on to the location uh, this will actually be just near the car park so if you know what buzzsaw is in the former tower terror 2 this will actually be where that is so it'll be quite similar to that so it'll be like the far left of the park so this will actually be quite a nice little location because obviously you will have like the two of the main attractions there and obviously i think there's an aerodynamics corkscrew somewhere in that park as well but yeah, this will be quite nice to be at the back of the park if you know what i mean and stuff like that but yeah so the location i've got no problem with i think it's a really good location but yeah so that, that that's really the location but this coast will be great and if i say one positive about it it's got to be that spinning car on the back I w i'm so happy i get this because if i went to australia i would definitely travel to hours just to go on the spinning car on the back and yeah i mean obviously a lot of people would have run blue fire and stuff like that and to have this spinning car only at one park would be incredible and i do hope icon blue fire cough head strike helix and rise like that do get it i am happy that this is the only one so far but if i just say one negative about this there's not many negatives it's pretty much the only negative is the launch uh, the launch is not, it's not very powerful on mac coasters and that's not really like uh, the actual park's fault it's pretty much mac's fault but i mean their coasters are great and personally i've got no problem with launches but i know a lot of people do and if that's the one negative about it like, i don't really mind but yeah the launches are not very powerful so if you're in an intimate accelerator like stealth at thought park or even top field drags or kinder car at cedar point or obviously it has great adventure they are like very very different from mac coasters i've only actually ridden icon and they are very very 
very different because I read I wrote Stealth and Icon pretty similar times and they are very different launches but I like them both the same I think they're great launches so I don't really have a problem with the launch on this but if you do have any like queries or like you're really excited or if you're not excited make sure to leave a comment down below also if you have any video suggestions make sure to leave a comment down below but that wraps up this video here on TPC and goodbye.